now the topic before us is writing first program in python it is customary that whenever we write first program in any language we write hello world so now let us see how we actually write the first program in python now we are going to write our first program in python we have opened the visual studio code and here you can go to explorer you will click here you will click on open folder we have up already open uh, created a folder in desktop with the name python you can do that select folder after that you will click on new file here as it is the first program we will save the file with the name first program with py extension that is dot py then enter create file now we are going to write our first program when we are to create our first program in python we use print function that is print plus these parentheses in between these parentheses we have to add value or to add that words or numbers which we want to print it is customary that in case of any programming language when we are creating or writing our first uh, writing uh, writing our first program in any programming language we use the words hello world so here we will use the words hello world but here is a twist we will also have to use double quotes we will use here double quotes and then you will click on run and in the terminal you will find that you have been able to get the output in the terminal and you have succeeded in writing your first program in python python is a programmer friendly language it is simple and easy to understand so as we go on learning how to write codes in python this is the very simple as we are writing this first program slowly and slowly we will be writing complex code now you will see that here the print function is in different color and the hello world is in different color it is the we have already told in our earlier lectures that it is the feature of vs code that different parts of the code in vs code have different colors so that the different parts of the code become easy to understand and easily readable now suppose if we write hello world without using single quote double quote or triple quote we may add that while writing hello world we may use single double or triple quote we will see that if we use single quote what happens then give the command hello world then you will see that hello world is printed in the same way please note that when we are writing print function p is not to be in upper case here we will do it in upper case uh, capital letters and then find out what happens here we will use triple quotes you will also see that here when we will click you will see that print is not defined because here as we have written print with p in capital letters this print is not defined in the python so here we will 
use it in lower case and then give the command of run and you will find that hello world is properly a written in the output that is the command is properly executed now if we want to write say numbers that is any number 1 2 3 anything then whether we have to use double quotes or single quote or triple quote no we have to simply add that number and to give that command uh, to give on uh, to print uh, click on run and then you will find that 23 is there then again we will use print 35 you will see that we will click on run and the output in the terminal is 35 what we have written here we may add that we can use this print function in python o2 for the purpose of mathematic simple mathematical calculations how we will see suppose we want to add 23 plus 35 now we will click on run you will find that 58 is output which is okay as per mathematical calculation 23 plus 35 is 58 now we can also do subtraction 35 minus 23 here you will see that 12 is here in the output in the terminal we can also use this print function or here you uh, 23 here we will multiply for the purpose of multiplication we use star mark or asterisk here you will click on run you will find that 230 is the output which is also okay now we will write some much more we will now write a sentence my name is sahil now we will now you will see that we have used double quotes thou while writing a sentence or a word and to get the print of the same we will use we can use single quote double quote or triple quote it is recommended that we should use double quotes so let us print it you will find that what we had written inside the double quotes is printed here my name is sahil next we write my age is 30 you will find that as it is what was written in double quotes is printed now what we do we want to print both these sentences in one line how it is possible you will print it here you will remove the closing bracket which was used earlier now in place of that we will use comma and then we will take the other line which was below that here you will see that we have written both the above sentences my name is sahil my age is 30 in this single sentence and in between both we have inserted comma now we will give command and you what will you will find you will find that both these sentences have now appeared in single line what we have done we have written the sentences in double quotes and after that in between both these sentences we have inserted comma both we want to write we want to give a single command of print but we want that both these sentences appear in different lines now let us see what how happens we will 
copy and print it in another line for the so that we may not write need not write it again here we will remove double quote o and the comma which was in between both the sentences and now we will use here you will see new line character this is the slash followed by n this is new line character wherever in the code we write it it means that whatever comes after this new line character after n whatever will be coming it will be shown in the output in the next line now we will give the command you will see that though we had written these two sentences in a single line but we had inserted new line character this is new line character slash n in between both these sentences so the python understood python interpreter understood that it has to appear the sentence in the next line now if we say write simply hello and give the command you will find that this is error because in case of words or strings string is a word or a sentence or a paragraph written in lang uh, english language so here hello is not defined if only we put double quotes or single or triple quotes the our vs code editor will be in a position to recognize it so when we have written only double quote on on the starting and note at the end you will find that there is a red line appearing below hello it means that though we are writing the code there is some error in the code we will now put double quote and you will find that red line which was below the hello has disappeared and we will click on run you will find that hello output is there further i would like to draw your like to draw your attention towards the different colors which are appearing on the screen you will find that this is the string it is appearing in somewhat pinkish color the value which is in numbers what we are printing is in numbers then it is it is in green color what we want to print if it is in numbers that is in digits then it is appearing in different colors bluish color and the command which we are giving that is the print function it is also of a different color that is the strings are of different colors and numbers are appearing in different colors these different colors appearing in the screen on the vs code help us to differentiate between the different parts of the codes it makes the code easily readable readable and easily understandable for us so now so far we have been able to write our first not only the first program in python but also able to understand how to get the print of numbers and also to get the print of two sentences in a single line and if there is a two sentences are appearing in a single line how to get the print of the same in another line by adding new line character thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course